Isaac. I am one of the singers on the worship team at Village 7 and I would like to introduce myself to you a little bit so you can get to know me. I am a Chicago native. I moved, my husband and I moved here about 25 years ago now, so this is definitely home for me. Uh, we have one daughter uh, who is a college student currently. I, my career has been in radio. I was a broadcasting major in college, and then uh, after my career in radio, then I went on to be a um, theater director at a private school. And now I'm currently a tailor and seamstress here in Colorado Springs, and that is a passion I've had since I was a very young girl, along with, of course, singing. Singing is so meaningful to me. It was part of my family. My beautiful mother was an accomplished pianist and piano teacher, and my father played guitar and led groups at church, and so singing was part of my entire history growing up as a child. Uh, my first experience singing in church was my dad and I was playing up front. My brother and I would sing, you know, Jesus loves me or something like that while he played and what a memorable experience uh, for me. Um, music was just a part of my world, whether it was singing in choir or doing shows in high school or whatever. It was constantly a part of my existence as I was growing up. So for me, music and singing worship is super meaningful to me. It's, it's my way of taking my crazy words and putting them into music and expressing them through worship. And I just, singing is just part of me. I got involved in Village 7 by singing with my daughter in the uh, Messiah Choir a number of years back. Um, singing Messiah was something I did in college and I loved singing Messiah, and there were just not any opportunities to do so. And when that opportunity came a few years back, I couldn't help myself and was so excited to sing as part of that choir, and that's kind of how I got involved in music at Village 7. I wanted to share with you one verse that is very meaningful to me, and um, in Scripture, John 15, 5 talks about how without Jesus, we can do nothing. And it's so very true. We really can't do anything without Christ and without Christ in our lives. It's not like we can do some things and without Him, but really it's without Him we can do nothing. So I hope my words have encouraged you a bit today, and I look forward to meeting some of you after service on a coming Sunday.